welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is julia i have lost 60 pounds so far and i have a lot to go so if you're into weight loss fitness healthy recipe videos then please go ahead and subscribe to my channel so yeah let's get into the video uh, for this video i actually got a request from one of my viewers and subscribers and they uh, asked me to do my skincare routine and I had a lot of likes so I thought I would just sit down today um, before I leave the house do my skincare on camera and then I'll also show you guys what I do for my nighttime skincare as well in the same video so let's just get right into it so just a side note I do change my creams often but this one that I'm going to talk about is the cream that I have been using for three months now and I've definitely seen a major change in how my skin looks, the brightness, how many pimples I'm getting. I just think this cream is definitely one of the best creams I've ever used. Not sponsored. I ain't that big to be sponsored anyways, but this is my absolute favorite. I'm almost done with it. So I just take a little bit, a little bit, a lot of it. I take some on my hand. I take my hair out of the way. I usually, I usually use this. Pow, baby. Okay. So I just take it on my hand. Just like so. And while it's still like wet and it hasn't dried yet, I usually just take a clean guy like so. I got this on Amazon for like $16. I just go in probably on a normal day, probably like for five minutes. I just go upwards. They say this is just good for blood flow, which in turn makes you look younger over time. Is it true? I don't know, but I'd rather stay on the side of caution you're on the side of caution so I just do this for like five minutes that's nice blood flow right there so don't get scared if it turns red and on my neck upwards motions I do this at night too so I do it in the morning and at night so you get it five minutes there I do it most if not every day. So once it's dry, I go in with my banana cream. Again, it's Ole Hendrickson. Um, they are slowly becoming one of my favorite skincare lines. So I literally just bought a new one because look at that. So I just put it under my eyes. And this is the same under eye cream I use at nights as well. Love love this stuff especially under concealer amazing and i also always put it on top as well just like that all right so that is it i also wear a sunscreen not as often as i should but i do wear sunscreen i just can't find it Alright, so unfortunately I can't find my sunscreen. Really sad, I should get more. But I normally use the Ulta, I believe it's called Ulta or Etna, Ulta, Etna. Ulta MD, is that what it's called? I'll go ahead and link it down below for you guys, but that's the only sunscreen I ever use because it's not sticky and it doesn't leave like a white cast on my face. And then, my dogs are barking. And lastly, I always go in with a neck and chest firming cream. This is just the one. That I've seen great reviews on. So this is from Gold Bond. I love all of their moisturizers. I even have their full body moisturizers. Sorry, my voice is cracking. It's like seven in the morning. <clears throat> but yeah, love this brand. I use a lot of their moisturizing products. So I just go ahead and get some and moisturize, baby. That's it. Always make sure you get your neck. So that is my morning skincare routine. So I'll go ahead and see you guys at night for my nighttime skincare routine. 
three hours later all right i am back it is 6 p.m just got back from work i normally don't do my evening routine this early it's usually around 10 p.m but since i'm recording i wanted the sun to still be out so you guys can see what i'm doing so i'm gonna go ahead and do my nighttime skincare routine a little bit early today so i'm gonna put my cat ears back to make sure there's nothing in the way so first things first i usually go into my bathroom and take off my makeup and my holy grail i've been using this for the past i'm gonna say year this is like my third bottle this is the kate somerville exfoliate cleanser it's pretty gentle it says exfoliating cleanser but it doesn't really exfoliate that much from like what you feel but i guess it does stuff because it definitely i think keeps my skin looking clear so i go on with like two pumps of this and then i actually bought this guy on amazon i think it was like 30 dollars. it is such an amazing product it has a button and it starts you hear that? it like vibrates so whenever you're like massaging yourself you can definitely feel it working but at the same time it is very gentle on your skin so i'm gonna go in my bathroom real quick take my makeup off with this cleanser brush my teeth and I will be back to show you guys what I use to take off the rest of my makeup. All right, so now that most of my makeup is off, uh, as you can see, my eyes are still on because I usually don't put any like water or soap around my eyes when I'm washing my face, usually if I have lashes on. So I go ahead and use my micellar water. Again, this doesn't happen every single day. Sometimes I do take my lashes off, but today I'm not, so I'm just going in with my cellular water but if I wasn't wearing lashes which is usually I just wash my entire face and my under eyes let me go on top all right so now that all the makeup is off my face I like to go in with toners and these are the two toners that I love the most this one is Paula's Choice 2% BHA Liquid Exfoliant. This is more of an exfoli exfoliator, but I use it as a toner. And the Ole Henriksen Glow Dark Spot Toner. If I were to choose one or if I were to tell you which one I use most often, for right now, it'd be this one. This one, from time to time, I use it just so I don't use up all of this guy. But this is my absolute favorite. I feel like this is the reason why a lot of my dark spots go away. I used to have a lot of dark, dark spots here. These ones are newer, so I feel like this is going to help that situation too. So I love this stuff. Highly recommend it. Again, it's Ole Henriksen, like my morning routine. I do have a lot of Ole Henriksen just because I like all their products. What can I say? All right, so that's that. And it does get rid of any excess stuff you might have not seen. Just saying. All right, so that's my toner. Next, I go into my serum. I do have two serums that I wanna talk about. Um, so the first one is gonna be the Ole, I swear this is not sponsored. Hopefully Ole Henriksen, if you see this video, you'll sponsor me, but I love your products. This one is the Ole Henriksen Glow Cycle Retin Alt Power Serum. This is the one that I've been using for the past three months. And I definitely see a great improvement in my skin because of this product. When it comes to brightness and glow, this guy right here works well. Now, I did get a new product from Sephora during their VIB sale, which was like two weeks ago. This is the Shani Darden Retinol Reform Serum. So obviously I don't use these together. This is the one that I've been using for like three months. This is a newer one and it has become my favorite i feel like these two together are my favorite i use both of these on and off um but this one is a little bit of a stronger retinol product if you guys haven't heard of retinol definitely do your research but it's great for wrinkles like it's great for brightening your skin it's great for um getting rid of pimples before they actually activate on your skin so i use this three times a week so every other day and i just put two pumps just to rub it in I love this product all right so that is 
the serum. I'm gonna just let that dry. And while that's drying, I'm gonna talk about my favorite moisturizers. Now, my current favorite moisturizer is this guy right here. It is the Peter Thomas Roth 10% Glycolic Solutions Moisturizer. Now, whenever I use this product, I'm not supposed to use a glycolic, uh, anything that has glycolic solution in it because they're just way too strong when you use it together. It's not good for your skin. So the days that I use this guy, I don't use this moisturizer. I use another moisturizer that's very moisturizing because after you use retinol or retinol, um, you have to use something very moisturizing. So this is the one I usually go for. This is the Lala Retro Rip Whipped Cream from Drunk Elephant. Again, very nourishing, very hydrating. So, and then for days that I'm not using this guy, the serum, I'm just taking a break from Intense Serums. This is the moisturizer that I go for. Again, you guys, all these products are amazing. I can't just tell you which one I like more. And if I were to tell you what are the two or three products that I um, award reward for my clear and like glowy skin. It's these guys right here. Right here. And if this guy is too expensive for you, it is around $88. I'll choose these guys right here. All right. So we went over my serums, we went over my moisturizers. And next for my eye cream, I already talked about this in the morning. I go in with my Ole Henriksen eye cream, which is done, but it's okay because I got a new one. So this is a twice a day thing right here, so very importante. Bam, right there, baby, bam. Just like that. And lastly, for my lip care, you guys saw this in the morning as well. It is again the Fresh Sugar Coconut Hydrating Lip Balm. All right guys, that is all for my skincare, daytime, nighttime, everything is in one video here for you guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much to everyone who complimented my skin. I really appreciate it because it is something that I do work on continuously because I want to make sure my skin looks and feels its best. So thank you guys so much for those comments. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you have any other recommendations for future videos, please leave me a comment down below. I'd really love to hear from you guys and give you guys videos and content that you guys want from me. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this video and would like to see more of my weight loss journey. With that being said, love you guys so much. Thank you guys so much for the support and I'll see you guys in the next one.